Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, you are going to learn get my plus 3 for the topic my new house on page 46. So, let's get started. The main skill for today's lesson is listening 1.2.2 After watching this video, you will be able to listen and match 6 specific information about belongings Activity 3 on page 47, your textbook The complementary skill is also listening 1.2.5 You will be able to listen and respond to 6 questions about who's. Now, take out your book, get smart plus 3 and open page 46 Let's read these words Cupboard Armchair Bookcase Fridge Hall Read this story. Refer to your book on page 46. You have to pause this video. Now listen and read along. Mum, where are my trainers? They're in the bedroom, in the box, next to the bookcase. Mum, these aren't my trainers, they're Tony's. Mum, whose socks are these? They're mine. Whose shirt is this, Sue? It's yours, Bill. Now, where's my coat? It's on the armchair, in the hall. That's my coat. <laughs> it isn't hers. Oh, dear. And that's not his. It's my shirt. Oh. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? Let's check your understanding about this story. Kids, while watching this story about Anna's moving into a new house, you are actually learn about two grammar focus. The first one is whose, whose, and the second one is about mine, hers, Tony's, his, and yours. What are these words mean? These words are actually called possessive pronouns. I know you will be wondering what are possessive pronouns? I will explain to you the meaning in this video. This slide is talking about who's. W-H-O-S-E is pronounced as whose. What is whose meaning? It is used to ask the belonging or the ownership of something from someone. Whose pencil is this? Usually, whose must be used with an object. Whose pencil is this? Whose pen is this? Whose sharpener is this? Whose, whose cap is this? Let's try another example, okay? 
whose whose train is are this? This sentence use are these because train is a plural form. Tony is asking, Mom, whose socks are these? Bill is asking, whose shirt is this? You have learned this is and these are in your English year to superminds get rest. This is or is this is used for skirt, jacket, hat, cap, t-shirt, and shirt. While these are and are these is used for socks, shorts, trainers, shoes, jeans, trousers. I also have a video about this lesson. Please look in the description. Now that you already know who's, let's begin the possessive pronouns. These are examples of possessive pronouns. Mine, yours, hers, his, theirs, ours. Possessive pronouns also can be used with the names. For example, in the story, they use Tony's. Yes, in this video, I will tell you how to use it and we will discuss how Anna and her family use it. Their conversation. This is my pencil. This pencil is mine. It's mine. Instead of saying this is my pencil, you can say it's mine. These are my pencils. Normal statement. These pencils are mine. They're mine. Then you have to continue watching this video. If you feel tired or thirsty, you may pause this video and come back later. Let's discuss more examples based on Anna's new house on page 46. Anna says that Tony's. Anna is referring to Tony's trainers. They are Tony's trainers. However, Anna's avoid repeating the same trainers, so she used Tony's. Anna says, They're mine. She's referring to her socks. Instead of saying, They're my socks, she says, They're mine. Again, Anna's avoid repeating the word socks, so she uses possessive pronouns, their mine. Whose shirt is this, Sue? It's yours, Bill! Instead of repeating the word shirt, it's your shirt, Anna's mom says, it's yours. That's my coat. <laughs> it isn't hers. It isn't hers. Hers is referring to her mother's belonging. Anna can just say it isn't her coat. It isn't hers. Both have the same meanings. And that's not his. It's my shirt. Oh! He can say, That's not his shirt. But Tony say, That's not his. Possessive pronouns shows belonging or ownership of something. 
then why do we use possessive pronouns as we can also use normal statements such as This is my pencil. Possessive pronouns avoid repetition of the same words. Therefore, your sentences become more precise and short. People can understand your conversation better. Exercise 1. You can open your Get Smart Plus 3 textbook, page 47. Please copy the clues in your exercise book, then listen and match. Activity 3. Listen and match. 1. Whose shirt is this? Is it Julia's? No, it isn't hers. Julia's shirt is green. That's Kim's shirt. 2. What about these blue jeans? Are they Kim's? Yes, they're hers. 3. I like this yellow dress, Julia. Is it yours? Oh, it's not mine. It's Kim's. I have got a pink dress. 4. Are these your black trousers, Julia? Yeah, they're mine. Exercise 2 is taken from Get Smart Plus 3 Workbook, page 35. Look and write. Before we end this video, let's think about this. The success is mine, the success is yours, the success is hers, the success is his, the success is ours, the success is theirs. Everyone has a chance to be successful. Thank you. It's time to say goodbye. Like share and subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you for watching